Two counties and likely to be three dates back to December of 2022. And deputies saying that these two Chicago men stole checks from business mailboxes and would alter them to try to cash the money for themselves. Nina Bleach joining us now live after talking to affected and affected business and learning more about how far the accusations go. Lena. I'm in Green Bay in front of one of several local businesses that had checks stolen out of its mailbox. Two men are in jail tonight in Brown County facing more than er, facing a total of 12 felony charges each on identity theft. More charges also may be coming. All told, deputies say that the checks total more than $600,000 in a wide ranging case. As a consumer, you put you kind of trust the system that you're going to you know, pay with a check and it's going to get to the place it needs to go to. And then, and as a business, you assume that your mail is going to come to you when it's supposed to. The 11 checks stolen from the instrumental music company were from school districts from around the state, but the business is recovering the money. The school districts were all contacted and they have uh, started to resubmit their payments to us. So fortunately, the money is still coming in. To help avoid this happening again in the future, the business is trying to help its clients switch to electronic payments. It's a slow process to convert over to electronic payments, but definitely uh, something we encourage and something that we uh, ourselves like to do uh, when we pay our own bills. The two men charged in this case, Daryl Edwards and Deonta Bratcher, are scheduled to appear in court on April 13th. We kind of take for granted you, you put your mail on the mailbox, it's got to be fine because it's protected, but you know, it's not locked or anything, so I guess what's to stop somebody from that? Officials in Outagamie told us this morning that they are also looking into the pair in connection with several checks that were stolen from businesses in Greenville last month. We will update you if Outagamie County also files more charges. Live from Green Bay, I'm Linda Bleeds for Action 2 News.